लगता है हेल्दी लाइफ स्टाइल और लाइफ स्टाइल हैबिट्स को चेंज करके कैसे हेल्दी रहा जाए और ऑल दी हेल्दी बॉडी पैरामीटर्स को कैसे अचीव किया जाए ये रिवाम नेशन का मोटो है और आज एक बहुत बढ़िया सेशन का प्लानिंग हुआ है फ्रेंड्स और स्टे ट्यून बहुत कुछ नॉलेज हम लोग ले सकते हैं और अपने लाइफ में उसको इम्प्लीमेंट कर सकते हैं so friends uh, today we have with us a very wonderful person and uh, very good gentleman uh, professionally wo oh, doctor hain dr satya sai naik uh, and uh, big clap ho jana chahiye unke liye uh, is a senior medical officer in the rank of additional director level 2 working as anesthetist at district headquarter hospital burgad as a renowned family planning uh tivak to me and nsb surgeon he has received many state award and personally hum unko bhi jante bhi hai bahut hi simple and humble uh hai aur bahut sare logon ko wo touch kar chuke hain aur bahut hi matlab हेल्पफुल सपोर्टिव है तो आज उनको हम इनवाइट करते हैं विथ योर वेरी बिग एंड सो लेट्स वेलकम ऑन जूम स्टेज डॉक्टर सत्य साई नायक सर वेलकम सर नमस्कार सर सर नमस्कार एम आई ऑडिबल यस सर ऑडिबल ओके कैन यू स्टार्ट यस सर ओके good morning friends and uh, welcome all all the members of the team rivam nation a wellness community to this uh, webinar on awareness and prevention of cancer as you know we have uh, just celebrated two days back the world cancer day on 4th of february the motto of this world cancer day was to make a cancer free world and to create awareness among the general people and to educate them by the health professional by the government functionaries and by the fighters who have survived from the cancers this year uh, the theme is close the care gap of cancer we should close the care gap gap between the care and so that they can live a happy life after the, their treatment a quality life they can live so before we go to details we should know what is cancer so cancer is a disease caused when cells of the body divide uncontrollably we all know in our matric uh, um, under matric classes those who are uh, who have studied the science in plus 2 then the there is a cell division process in the body which is control one but in case of cancer the cell divides uncontrollably and the abnormal cells are formed and these abnormal cells they form a mass which is called tumor and this tumor can spread first it is a localized one then it can spread into surrounding tissue and to the whole body the main cause of the cell division cell growth is changes in the gene changes in the dna occur and uh, cancer may occur to anybody har kisi ko cancer ho sakta hai to any age to any sex to any race any religion any reason and to any economic status kisi ko bhi cancer ho sakta hai so we all are a potential candidate of cancer हम सभी कैंसर के पोटेंशियल कैंडिडेट हैं हमको भी कैंसर हो सकता है सो वी हैव टू बी एवेयर ऑफ इट एंड वी शुड नो 
this this is uh, for this the world cancer day is observed worldwide then we should know what is the causes of the cancer cancer kyun hota hai there are many uh, causes it is multifactorial anek karan hota hai the first cause is it is genetic we know that there is a inheritance cause inherited there is if uh, cancer is present uh, in the family there is a family history of cancer then cancer may occur to the offspring to the uh, child to the and uh, it is only 4 to 10 percent cases in gene level it is inherited from the father and mother but maximum number of cancer are non hereditary origin so the dna transform transformation occurs at a later stage due to various factors and these factors are the physical and chemical agents in environment there are physical agents and also there are chemical agents and they serve as a stimulants this serves as a irritants to the cells and to our gene and dna and the most important cause is smoking 30% of all cancers the risk factor is smoking so smoking is very very dangerous and in case of lung cancers the smoking is a 90% causative agent and smoking causes more than 14 numbers of cancers like uh, mouth cancer esophageal cancers and many cancers of the elementary canal breast cancer there is a, a tendency of e cigarette smoking it is also very harmful we can i cannot go to the details passive smoking is also very harmful active smoking is very harmful but passive smoking is also very harmful there are carcinogen materials in the environment we are uh, we have studied uh, our books in robins pathology it has written that we are swimming in a ocean of carcinogens these are the heavy metals like arsenic asbestos benzene beryllium cadmium chromium ethylene oxide nickel various types of carcinogens are present in the food water adulterated foods we are taking it there is a huge um, tamne uses of pesticides to grow the crops and uh, in the environment there is pollutions like air pollution water pollutions the dust smokes are there they are the potential um, tamne allergens which stimulate and irritate our cancers our cells uh, to grow and to cause the cancer the most important causes of cancer is a lifestyle modification in the modern era, modern uh, era a urban lifestyle busy hectic lifestyle we are uh, we are living in a sedentary life maximum numbers of people are living in a sedentary lives many uh, patients many people are consuming alcohols these are all risk factors many people are in a stressful condition anger shoro and the work pressure they are causing stress to our life we are taking the unhealthy diet unhealthy diet is causing 5% of cancers mainly the non veg diet non vegetarian diet they are causing the colorectal cancers the ad adulterated foods we are taking they are causing also the cancers in the alimentary tracts then obesity the body mass index we all know more than uh, 30 it is a, uh, the risk factors of 20 percent of cancers and it causes more than 11 numbers of cancers so obesity is a major factor in 
major causes of the cancer. Then deviation from our normal life is a cause of cancer. Like we should sleep at least eight hours, seven to eight hours. If we will not sleep adequately, then it is, it is a risk factor for cancer. Menstruation is a natural phenomenon. Menstruation in case of female natural phenomenon, it will uh, take medicine to stop the menstruation. Breastfeeding is a natural phenomena after childbirth. If we will not breastfeed our baby, then it is a deviation from the normal life. Early, late, we, if we uh, do late marriage in case of both male and female, if we uh, do the late childbirth and less than two numbers of childs, these are all potential risk factors for cancers. There are various hormones in the body which is uh, uh, balancing our body like estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, histamine, cortisol, etc. If it increases of its th threshold value, then it is a potential risk factor for cancers. In case of stressful life, the histamine increases, the cortisol level increases. Infection is also a direct cause of cancer, like human papilloma virus in case of uh, um, cervical cancer in female, Epstein-Barr virus, hepatitis B and C viruses. Some bacteria like Helicobacter pylori can cause the stomach cancer. Inflammation like chronic diseases is a risk factor for cancer. And last but not the least, the radiation. There are two types of radiation. One is non-ionizing radiation. We are using the mobile phones. We are using the electric power transmission. UV radiation uh, is there. These are the non-ionizing radiation. This is a risk factor of many skin cancers. Then ionizing radiations like the medical imaging like X-ray, CT scan, MRI scan, PET scan, and people living besides the nuclear power plants. They are uh, getting the radiation injury. They can cause many skin cancer and organ cancers also. So these are the cause of the cancer. We should if we know the causes, we can prevent the cancer. We can um, prevent the cancer. So now the time is how to suspect that uh, uh, as we all are a potential candidate of cancer. So how to suspect uh, uh, that uh, we may suffer from cancer? The body gives a signs. Body gives some warning that uh, you are... Uh, uh, going to develop cancer at a later stage. And there are at least seven summers of warning signs. Uh, if you know it clearly, we can uh, detect our cancer early or we can stop the cancer growth. So there is a question formula in our uh, uh, study, C-A-U-T-I-O-N, question formula. So C, C, there is change in the bowel and bladder, bladder habit. Bla, bowel habit changes, matlab, constipation. If it not powers or stool clearly, it is called constipation. Diarrhea, if it pass the loose stool frequently for a prolonged period, then we can suspect. This is a warning sign that we may later is suffer from the elementary canal or colorectal cancer. If the bladder habit it changes, like urgency, there may be uh, uh, micturations, less amount or more amount, anything, then we can, we should check, we should examine our body. We should go to visit the doctor. Then second C, A, A, A sore, one sore, or ulcer that does not heal for more than seven days despite taking medicines. In mouth, there are, uh, we know the white patches are there. It is called leukoplakia. The most people 
Uh, we know they are taking the pan. Uh, there is a deadly combination of chuna, supari, and gutkha. If we take all these three, or chuna and supari or two, then it is a potential risk factor that it will first cause the leukoplakia white patch. It will cause. Then after some days, the patch will be red. It is called erythroplakia. And the third stage is the cancer. So the precancer stage is the leukoplakia or white patches inside the buccal, buccal mucosa. This stage, we should stop the uh, taking pan, gutka, whatever may be, and we should examine our mouth. Then third is the unusual bleeding, U, C, A, U, unusual bleeding or discharge from orifices. Our orifices are from eye, nose, mouth, uh, from urethra and the anal canal. If there is bleeding or any foul smelly discharge, we should consult a doctor. Uh, in case of uh, females, if the menstrual cycles, there is irregular menstrual cycle, there is mid-period bleeding, there is heavy bleeding, and bleeding during and after sexual intercourse, we should be very cautious. We should visit a doctor, we should do ultrasonography, various tests are there. This may uh, a potential risk factor, potential uh, precancerous condition for uh, cervical cancer. Then T, thickening, there may be thickening or there may be a lump or mass in the breast. In case of breast cancer, there is a lump or a mass in the breast or elsewhere in the body, in the skin, below the skin. We should be, uh, this is a warning sign that breast cancer or skin cancer may be there. Then I, indigestion or difficulty in swallowing. In case of indigestion, there may be some elementary canal cancers. In case of difficulty swelling, there may be uh, throat cancer, esophagus cancer. So we should consult a doctor. Then O, in obvious change in what or mole. Jai hota hai humare sarir mein, uska jab size increase karega, uska texture increase karega, uska color change hoga, Pain hoga, dard hoga. So this is a warning sign that skin cancer, melanoma, various types of skin cancers may be there. Then N C A U T I O N N nagging cough or hoarseness of voice. If there is prolonged cough and voice is changing, hoarseness of voice, it is a symptoms of laryngeal cancer, lungs cancer may be there. So these are the seven warning signs we should know. If there is unusual sign them symptoms like this, we should consult a doctor. We should investigate uh, ourselves uh, by consulting a doctor. But the common symptoms of cancer is there is anorexia. Anorexia matlab bhok nahi hona. Khana nahi khana. Weakness. Jada durbal ho jana. Kaam karne ke icha nahi hota. Loss of weight. Thik ojan rata hoga hatha ojan kam jayega. Kam ho jayega. Anemia. There is loss of blood. Hemoglobin level uh, decreases less than 7. In case of unexplained fever and diarrhea. Zwar, uh, fever bukhar hoga. Not responding to treatment for more than month. So we should suspect this is a symptoms of cancer. So after this suspicion, what we will do? We should visit to a doctor and we should uh, be diagnosed. Diagnosis should be done. And in case of cancer, diagnosis is based on the clinical suspicion, the signs and symptoms. What is uh, uh, the signs? The, what we are complaining of? According to their complaint, there is a clinical suspicion that cancer may be there. Then doctors do the uh, X-ray, CT scan, MRI scan, PET scan. In case of um, uh, breast uh, uh, cases, the mammography is done. Then some tissue are taken 
by FNAC, fine needle expiration cytology, biopsy, um, and histopathological examination are done, and uh, where cancer cells, the abnormal cells are there, uh, their um, uh, investigation was done. Then some immunochemistry cancer marker cells are present in the blood. So blood examination uh, being done and uh, some molecular test also done. And after this, the cancer is diagnosed. After the diagnosis, the cancer staging kiya uh, jata hai. So cancer ka char stage hota hai. Individual cancer ka individual alag alag staging hai. But at a common, there are four stages of uh, cancers, disease, four stages of the disease. So stage one is if the cancer is limited to the uh, organ, small organs, localized one. Only jaha cancer cell in ki jo hai, wohan hi limited ho ke rahega. So this is stage one. And in case of stage one cancer, the cure rate is 100%. So if we go early detection will be done, then cure will be 100%. In case of stage two, stage two, if the localized, it will increase in size and it will, it will be enlarged to whole organ will be involved. Then it is stage two. Here the survival rate is 10 to 12 years and cure rate is 80% cure rate. And the first and second stage, this is the early stages. But in case late stages are stage three and stage four, in case of stage three, there is widespread metastasis to other organs done. If it is a liver cancer, then besides the liver, it will go to lungs, it will go to stomach and other organs. This is widespread metastasis beyond organ, it will spread. In this case, the five-year survival is only 25%. And in case of fourth stage, this is the advanced stage or terminal stage. It is organ damage uh, occurs. And the survival period is only three to six months if uh, treatment not started early. So there are various types of cancers are there. Uh, brain cancer, blood cancer, gallbladder cancer, stomach cancer, pancreatic cancer, these are having bad prognosis. Treatment karne se baad bhi iska cure rate bahut kam hota hai. Blood cancer, brain cancer jaysi hai. Parantu abhi jo oral cancer hota hai, mukh mein cancer hota hai, cervical cancer, bachcha dani mein jo cancer hota hai, vaha cervical rate jada hota hai, prognosis bhi achcha hai. So, advancement of the uh, medical uh, is there. So, treatment uh, is based on the rule of 2080. There is a rule of 20, 20 and 80. Uh, as I have already told, stage 1 and stage 2 is the early stage of cancer. And 20% of people they come in early stages. Only 20% of people come in early stages. And the cure rate is 80%. But the PT is the 80% of people come in the late stages, that is the stage 3 and 4, and the cure rate is only 20%. So we should be aware, we should aware the people that they should come in early stages so that the cure rate will be more than 80% they will cure. There are various modalities of treatment like surgery, operation karke, jo one localized cancer hota, organ ko nikal denge surgery. Radiotherapy hote, one a light paka jata hai. Radiotherapy mein radiation uh, kiya jata hai aur cancer cell jo hota hai, usko nust kiya jata hai. Chemotherapy, Anti-cancer drugs diya jata hai. Oh, total body ko thoda harm karta hai. There are various types of targeted therapy hota hai. Immunotherapy also. 
a modality of treatment. There are hormonal therapy, genetic therapy, various therapy has emerged. Besides the allopathic treatment, modern scientific treatment, also there are alternative therapy uh, we are practicing in mainly in India, like Ayurveda, yoga, pranayam, chanting of Om. And uh, the most important is mind control. Visualization uh, should be done that um, I am healing. I am getting cured. This positivity, it will create the, it, it, it will cause healing at a faster rate and the patient, uh, uh, they will cure. So this visualization technique, we are all uh, using our in our business strategy in MOA also. Then the palliative care, palliative care usually uh, done in case of terminal stages. In stage four, when already there is organ damage, the uh, to we cannot cure the patient. So we have to whatever the uh, period, जो कुछ बचा कुछ है उसका जीवन में we have to improve the quality of life of the patient. We should uh, uh, decrease the pain, remove the pain, suffering, bleeding, the sore throat. Uh, 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 we should uh, uh, heal it. So this is the palliative care. This is given uh, in the ho home and in the hospital setup also. So this is all about the treatment plan. But the most important is uh, we should know what is the prevention of the cancer. हम कैसे कैंसर को रोक सकते हैं? रोक सकते नहीं कि कैंसर हमारा बॉडी को नहीं होगा हमको कैंसर नहीं होगा इसके लिए हम क्या कर सकते हैं एजा ऑलरेडी टोल्ड द मोस्ट कैंसर सर प्रिवेंटेबल बट अप टू 50% 50% कैंसर सर प्रिवेंटेबल दिस इज द कॉल प्राइमरी प्रिवेंशन एंड रेस्ट 50% कैंसर वी कैन सस्पेक्ट अर्ली वी कैन डायग्नोज अर्ली एंड वी कैन ट्रीट इट if we detected early in the stage one and two. So for the 50% cases, prevention, that is the primary prevention, we should follow it. So what are the, uh, what are the prevention, preventive methods we should follow so that we cannot suffer from cancer? So first is we have to live a healthy lifestyle. हमको एक सुस्त जीवन जीना पड़ेगा फॉर विच द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट वाइज इज हमारा वजन वी शुड मेंटेन ए हेल्दी वेट वी ऑल नो दैट फॉर हेल्दी वेट वी यूज द फॉर्मूला बी एम आई बॉडी मास इंडेक्स दैट इज द वेट इन के जी डिवाइड बाय हाइट इन मीटर स्क्वायर इफ इट इज less than 25 from 18.5 to 25 then we are in a normal weight and this normal weight bmi less than 25 can lower the risk of 13 number of cancers so uh, in revamination we are using the god uh, research program and we are uh, doing we are controlling our weight so this is a very good thing. We are uh, preventing the cancers. Then we should do physical exercise regularly. That is 30 minutes per day, five days in a week. We can uh, run, we can walk, we can uh, dance in our uh, home. We can do swimming, we can uh, play some games. We, say we can go to a gym, but we have to do some physical exercise. Those who are not uh, able to do physical exercise, they should lead an active life. We should do our own works ourselves. When uh, uh, we are going to upstairs, we can we should use staircase. We, we should avoid uh, using the lifts. 
we should uh, limit ourselves uh, in front of tv in front of computers we can um, attend the uh, mobiles not sitting but uh, uh, walking this way you can be uh, live a active life we should uh, avoid stressful life we should be happy we should celebrate uh, the small happiness small success uh, can be celebrated uh, uh, with the family with the friends and we should uh, be satisfied uh, whatever we are doing in our job uh, in our business we should uh, a positive attitude uh, will help will prevent um, from many uh, diseases like cardiovascular disease other diseases and also this cancer we may inclined into spirituality we can uh, uh, chant the uh, name of the god and most important is adequate sleep is uh, required for the healing of our body and we can uh, reduce exposure to indoor and outdoor air pollution there are various pollutants and this all uh, these pollutants are all carcinogens so in the home we can use the air purifier atmosphere mini in home in in car we can use the atmosphere um, uh, drive in the car when you are going to a polluted uh, polluted uh, area we can use the mask this so you can um, uh, reduce the exposure to the air pollution so healthy lifestyle is very much important to prevent cancer and also other uh, diseases also then second most important is we have to follow a healthy diet we all know in the in the god reset program uh, we are eating the healthy plate in which uh, the 25% uh, consisting of the complex carbohydrates 25% consist of the plant proteins and the rest 50% consist of fruits and vegetables we should give color to our diet so that our life will be colorful so more plants uh should be included in our uh, diet uh, then the animal uh, then not the animal we should avoid the red and processed meat those who are uh, non veg uh, they can take uh, in case of uh, in place of red and processed meat uh, moderate quantity of chicken they uh, they can uh, take the fish but not the uh, more fried one we should uh, avoid the simple sugar simple sugar refined carbon carbohydrate the bread uh, made up of the maida or uh, wheat flour we should avoid the processed uh, packaged uh, fried food fast food also the sugar sweet and drink in in instead we can use the green tea you can use the coconut water you can use the lassi we are taking the fiber uh, fiber water uh, in in the in the program also we can um, we should avoid the refined oil these are the chemicals we are uh, using not the oils instead we can use the olive oil canola oil the mustard oil coconut groundnut oil in moderate quantity we can use and the most uh, important is uh, the intermittent fasting intermittent fasting is very very much beneficial for prevention of the cancer in our book is, in our um, old text uh, it is uh, written the langanam param oshadam meaning fasting is the best medicine one uh, japanese cell biologist called yosunori osumi he got nobel prize for his research work autophagy autophagy means when we will do fast twice in a month 
our uh, the indian age old practice was uh, fasting in the ekadashi they will not take any food nirjala upavas usko bolte hain so in this case what happens only the healthy cell will survive and the unhealthy cell those will depend upon food they will get rid of it so the the body uh, there will not be any abnormal cells the abnormal cell will be destroyed by this intermittent fasting so intermittent fasting should be done twice in a month our age old practice of ekadashi this should be followed then the third most uh, uh, prevent prevention is those who are doing smoking they should stop smoking those who are taking the tobacco pan gutka they are uh, taking they should stop the chewing of the tobaccos because in the tobaccos and in the uh, cigarettes ganja or bd there are deadly carcinogens and these are the uh, 30% of cases 30% of cancer are due to smoking and tobacco uses but you should be uh, you should stop smoking and you should stop chewing tobacco then we should limit the use of alcohol in the name of social drinking many people are uh, taking alcohol so zero is the best otherwise in minimal moderate quantity uh, we should limit the alcohol use then we should protect ourselves uh, from the sun exposure sun exposure usually the peak burning time sun burning time is 10 am to 4 pm so this period 10 am to 4 pm this 6 hour we should avoid uh, going outdoors or direct exposure to sun we can use umbrella and uh, the best thing is uh, we should use sunscreen lotion as at least spf 30 we should use to protect our skin then we should protect ourselves from std sexually transmitted diseases the uh, as i already told the uh, um, human papilloma virus hepatitis b and hiv virus are there for which we have to uh, do the practice we should practice safe sex we should be mutual and faithful to our partner and there are vaccination is uh, there against the human papilloma virus from 9 years onward up to 16 then it is extended to 26 year those who are below 26 year they should take the human papilloma virus vaccination recently who has extended the age limit up to 45 years so we uh, the all the females uh, they should women they should uh, be uh, taken vaccination against this human papilloma virus then after childbirth the women should breastfeed her baby because in case of breastfeeding it will reduce the mother's cancer risk of the breast we should follow it then we should do marriage at the right age, right age and childbirth at the right period and the most important is we should we should not tease our body we should not tease our body we should not take pills to control uh, menstruation frequently we should not take hormonal replacement uh, uh, therapy this should be uh, followed a normal life should be lived then we should take uh, judicial uh, use of vitamins and supplementation we can take there are Uh, 10 to 12 numbers of vitamins and supplementation are there uh, which has proven uh, benefits uh, uh, for prevention of the cancer and to hold the progress uh, of the uh, cancer uh, which is uh, prevent the 
uh, growth of the cancer cells. These vitamins uh, we should take um, judicially under uh, guidance of a uh, proper uh, um, health personnel. And these medicines, these supplementation are coenzyme Q10. It is a very potent uh, antioxidant drugs, and it is a very much energy source to our body. Breast cancer, in case of breast cancer, it is very much helpful. Then uh, the omega-3 fatty acids, it is also uh, helpful. Then the isoflavones of flavonoids, mainly present in the green tea and other uh, uh, foods, fruits, this, these are also um, helpful antioxidant properties there. This resveratrol uh, is a very uh, potent antioxidant. It will uh, uh, delay the aging process of our body also. The milk thirstel, uh, which is useful in case of liver, liver diseases and slow the liver cancer growth. Then the anti-homocysteine uh, um, vitamins like B vitamins, these are also helpful in case of uh, uh, various diseases. Then vitamin E supplementation uh, is useful for skin. Then probiotics, uh, uh, it is a, a protective uh, of our digestive system. Then N-acetylcysteine and glutathione, this uh, uh, protects our lungs and somewhat in uh, liver also. It is a uh, very much potent antioxidant and prevent the uh, free radical damage of our cells. Then uh, some modified citrus pectin, MCP, then calcium d uh, glucarate and CLA conjugated linolenic acid. These are the uh, some vitamins and supplementation uh, have uh, uh, some um, beneficial effects uh, to prevent the cancer. These are the all the uh, primary prevention. If we follow the healthy lifestyle, if we uh, take the healthy diet, we will uh, uh, stop smoking, stop alcohol uh, consuming, then protect ourselves from the sun, from the uh, infection, sexual infection. Then we can uh, uh, cancer uh, will not uh, attack ourselves. Then the next thing is the secondary prevention. Secondary prevention for which secondary prevention. We have to do screening our body regularly. Screening, we should do some tests. We should examine our body, ourselves, or by a health professional. And the screening of cancer is age specific. So the, in case of uh, less than 20 years, uh, the cancer uh, is very rare, very rare. But after the age of 20 to 30 years, all the female, all the women, they should uh, uh, do pap smear examination for papilloma virus from the cervix of the uterus. The cervical mucosa is taken with the help of a stick and it is examined uh, under microscope. Um, uh, and some chem chemicals are uh, used to detect whether the uh, virus is there, HPV virus is there. So every three years, we should do pap smear to diagnose ourselves. Uh, diagnose early for cancer of the cervix. In the age group of 40 years, the woman, the female should examine, the self examine their breast. And the ideal time of cell examination of the breast is middle of the period. And they should examine their breast every month in front of the mirror with the flat hand. They can feel whether the constituency, the breast constituency is soft or not, or any mass is there, any in case of any mass or in case of feeling any hardness in the breast. And mammography should be done every year. Then test of, uh, in case of male, Prostate cancer is common. So uh, some test, PSA test, 
prostate specific antigens test should be done every year in the age group of 45 years uh, the colonoscopy should be done sigmoidoscopy should be done endoscopy may be done to know the colorectal cancer eliminate tract cancer in the age group of 50 years lung cancer is common so ct scan may be done in case of cough ct scan may be done so these are all the screening tests done to detect early in case of cancers so i have discussed all the uh, all that is that should be uh, known to us and we can go to the uh, people we can go to the public to aware them so this webinar session uh, the conclusion the take home message is this is the right time this is the right time uh, we should love ourselves खुद को हमें प्यार करना होगा वी शुड लव आवर बॉडी हमारे शरीर को हमको प्यार करना पड़ेगा और वी शुड लव आवर फैमिली और हमारा परिवार को प्यार करना पड़ेगा हमसे हमारा परिवार है परिवार हमसे है ओबे द हेल्दी हैबिट्स और वही प्रिवेंशन प्रिवेंटिव मेथड है प्रतिरोध है प्रिवेंशन इज बेटर देन क्यूर देन द फिफ्टी परसेंट केसेस प्रिवेंशन वी कैन कैंसर इज प्रिवेंटेबल फिफ्टी परसेंट केसेस फॉर द रेस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट केसेस वी शुड स्क्रीन आवर सेल्फ हमको स्क्रीन करना पड़ेगा जो साइन uh, बताए थे जो सिग्नल जो वार्निंग सिग्नल बॉडी में देता है कैंसर होने से पहले कैंसर ऐसे हठात नहीं हो जाता है सडनली कैंसर नहीं हो जाता है उसके पहले बॉडी हमको वार्निंग साइन देता है कि तुम्हारा बॉडी में चेंज हो रहा है समझ जाओ तो वार्निंग साइन को जब आएगा उनको नजरअंदाज नहीं करना चाहिए एंड वी शुड स्क्रीन आवर सेल जो स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट दिया है डॉक्टर के पास जाके हमारा ये दिक्कत है बोल के स्क्रीनिंग करना पड़ेगा एंड कैंसर इज डिटेक्टेबल cancer is curable cancer is manageable if it is detected early so uh, this webinar we should uh, be uh, serious enough we should um, uh, take the advantage we should we know uh, the cancer what is cancer uh, we know the we knew the causes of the cancer and we know the we knew the uh, the signals the warning signals of cancer and how to prevent the cancer so this is uh, all uh, from my side uh, thank you uh, for the great listening so thank you thank you sir aur uh, bahut uh, zabardast hum logon ko aaj jankari mila about cancer और व्हाट इज कैंसर टाइप्स ऑफ कैंसर के बारे में बताए साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स के बारे में अर्ली डायग्नोसिस एंड ट्रीटमेंट और प्रिवेंशन और बहुत सा मतलब हमारे ऑप्टिमल हेल्थ के बारे में भी हम जान पाए जिस लाइक एडिक्वेट रेस्ट हो रेगुलर एक्सरसाइज पॉजिटिव मेंटल एटीट्यूड और सप्लीमेंट्स ये सब के बारे में हम नॉलेज आज ऑन फास्टिंग uh, के ऊपर भी आज uh, हमें मिला विजुअलाइजेशन चांटिंग के बारे में मतलब uh, हम लोग प्रिवेंट कर सकते हैं और जैसे पता है कि सर कि प्रिवेंट कर सकते हैं फिफ्टी परसेंट और फिफ्टी रेस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट को स्क्रीनिंग से भी हम प्रिवेंट कर सकते हैं एनीथिंग वन टू थैंक सर फॉर द ग्रेट नॉलेज बहुत बढ़िया नॉलेज मतलब इतना फास्ट नॉलेज अब मतलब जो डर था कैंसर के लिए शायद वो डर अभी हट जाएगा इतना सारा नॉलेज लेने के बाद वी कैन प्रिवेंट वी कैन डिटेक्ट वी कैन ट्रीट कैंसर इफ वी आर थोड़ा अवेयर हो जाएंगे थोड़ा कसस हो जाएंगे खुद को प्यार करेंगे तो वी कैन ट्रीट कैंसर आज से यही सीख मिला थैंक यू सर
और आज हम लोग जो बैठे हैं रिवम नेशन के थ्रू जो जितने सारे हेल्थ कोर्सेस हैं हम हम लोगों को आज पूरा नॉलेज मिल गया है और हम लोग और भी लोगों को अवेयर कर सकते हैं हमारे फैमिली मेंबर्स फ्रेंड्स रिलेटिव्स इन सबको हम अवेयर कर सकते हैं तो